is. That's a good spot to be in. You see him. He's really closing fast on the 19. It could, this yeah. could pay off right here. If he could just get up behind him and draft off him, he might gain back what he lost. Well, nope, not okay. hard enough. The stopwatch didn't know it. Well, that's what they saw in practice. What little uh, guys tried to draft off other people, it actually hurt them. And that was surprising. We didn't expect that. Got some cars in the green, though, Snow. He's not done yet. It's not over. That was just lap one. If Hamlin can just stay right here on the rear bumper. Nope. Falling back. He did a nice job. Oh. No, it's going to come back, I believe. Oh, not enough, though. Second. Second, second for Hamlin. Close. Amarola. Oh, Amarola to the top. <laughs> I look was, at that time. I was going to say, the only one that I think can beat Boyers is teammate Almirola. But, but look at that time, a 30-55. I mean, that's only five-tenths off of what we were here last Where year. Where
cleared. All cars can finish. the flag and tell you when you're done <laughs> put another quarter in the machine <laughs> it's just you know money in the and first 108 107 106 and they're uh, all hamlin in front here we go so we, we know that some of these cars are not going to make two laps i think right now maybe they saw a few of these guys like hemrick and keselowski that only made one lap and ran some pretty fast times I think Jimmy Johnson's in a, a, a pretty nice position here. He's got Austin Dillon and Denny Hamlin ahead of him, and those are pretty fast race cars. Yeah, I think Hamlin's a sitting duck where he is. He's first car out there. I just wonder if Jimmy's not too far back. William Byron's right there behind Jimmy Johnson, teammate. 30 seconds, and again, it may be tight on some of these cars being able to make two laps. Well, you no, know it takes 29 seconds pretty much to run that first lap. I think Jimmy Johnson did not get the gap to Austin Dillon he was hoping for. I, I don't think he's close enough to get that run, but Austin Dillon made a great run through three I and four behind Austin the 11. I think Austin Dillon's got to watch because he is getting a heck of a draft off that 11 four, car. Three, two, one. Time it expired. 13, 8, 22. 13, 8, 22, 2, 3, 9. A lot of green there on the right. Wow. Jimmy Johnson, William Byron, Ty Dillon. Chase so Ty at the top. Ty Dillon's lap is not going to count. So let's see if these second laps will prevail. Jimmy Johnson. Johnson. Yes, sir. Johnson, Byron, Hemrick. The three fastest. And Chase Elliott. Wow. Here we go, boys. Thank <laughs> you. Well, I tell you, the car looks fast, Mike. Right now to me, is that nine car? Chase Elliott. That looked like a steamy lap. Well, 14.56 for Chase. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that's definitely going to put some pressure on somebody like Ryan Blaney because Ryan Blaney is going to have to run a perfect lap to beat him. Well, that broke the track record. The previous one. The previous, yes. not the current one that the Blaney, Blaney just has said. now, but that broke the old track record. And, and that nine car looks so smooth around the racetrack. There's Busher. Busher right, making it into round three. Great job. He ran really strong last week at Bristol, but I believe this guy on the left, Kevin Harvick, watch out for him. If he qualifies up front, he's going to be really tough to beat. It's going to be tough to beat either way, but yeah, it I looks like he has a fast race car on the short runs here in qualifying and the long run. So that was lap one, 2181. And he's in the green. Watch oh, the tracker. Yeah. yeah, I expect him to only pick up more. Look how he can really keep it on that yellow line. Little bobble yeah. off of turn four. Yeah, but not, it. Tighter. not enough to keep him from going to number one. But I tell you, they came in here with a ton of confidence. So. Yeah, you got to watch. Yeah, I'm really anxious to see what he backs up from that first round. One Chevy and one Ford yet to go. Right now it's an all Ford front row with Boyer and Keselowski. Austin Dillon, what a nice birthday present. It would be for your 29th birthday to win the pole at Talladega. Well, we've seen these cars have speed in them. He, he and Hemrick both, they've had speed a lot of times, but they don't race well. But maybe all those things they were doing the other tracks where they didn't race so well might be paying off down here. Yeah, boy, I mean, look at him, look at him pulling ahead, pulling wow, away. back straight away. <laughs> oh, he got some straightaway speed in that baby. Car had just one bounce as it enters the corner and it settled and increased that margin. It'll be a pretty nice lap right here. Yeah, I'm Light the candles and blow them out. I mean, this is going to be <laughs> two tenths faster than what Boyer ran. Now that's going to be a time to, to, to reach out there for. Look at Boyer, he says, oh, well. Wow, 49.73. He is two tenths of a second faster than Clint Boyer.
really, really good. They can, they can have it. Good job, boys. Manage your speed here. 11 one hundredths faster than round one. And the gamesmanship began. Good point, Mike. I think this Austin is, is a 11. challenge right here. It's Chase certain. Elliott. Did it through one and two. Ninth in practice in his Napa break Chevy. Yeah. Not seen anybody pull ahead of the 24 up to this point. Oh! It'll be tight. Oh, he got it back off of turn four. This is going to do it. First, 41 69. Five one hundredths faster than William Byron, his teammate. The only guy that's uh, maybe likes his track better than Chase Elliott is Jimmy Johnson. But I'm telling you, this is one of Chase's best racetracks. And here we see how much Kurt Busch likes this track today. <laughs> won this race of fall, last fall. Went to Kansas and won to Kansas too. So these guys are pretty excited. Oh, well, <laughs> William Byron bummed out he wanted that, that pole on something other than a super speedway. All right, here's the guy. Here's Harv. I think this is the guy to watch, not just here at qualifying, but all weekend. This is a great track for him, showing a lot of speed on all of our averages on the 10 lap, 15, 20 lap average. He was the guy to beat, and look at him going right to the top here against his teammate, Eric Amarola. Winner of two of the last five cup races at Kansas in the Bush Beer Ford. Here comes money. Oh my gosh, this is going to be down. Money's this is going to be right close to a flat, looks to me like. There's nothing DW hates more than giving me a little bit of his cash out of his pocket. <laughs> I feel like I've been set up. Hey, now we're going to send you over that casino on the back stretch. <laughs> Harvick to the top. 30, 13. Right, buddy, one. Good job. And one, two, three, four for Stewart. Pit road and then get a decent stop. Whoa, baby. All right, here we are. Five, four, He's in the three, earlier two, pit stall. One. Excellent job. Smooth. Nice. Right on the mark. Flip did a great job. Let's see if the crew can respond. And there's a quick amount of time. And get him out. Chasing Kyle. Any problem? William Byron, part of a lot of Hen all Hendrick front rows this year, the Liberty University Patriotic Chevrolet. Remembering Air Force Captain Mark Weber on his windshield. Well, it came to the green really, really good and into turn one. When I think about him, I think about Chad Knauss. And what do we know about Chad Knauss and Charlotte Motor Speedway? He's a got a lot, lot of wins, of, a, <laughs> a lot, lot of success. success. And he might be pretty successful here qualifying if William Byron can get through turn, turns three and four. It's going to be a battle. Looks like he's oh, got a little man. edge coming oh, off four. I like think it's that's going to hang on. Tracking really smooth. There you go, 40, 44. 29, 44, five one hundredths to the good. Joey Logano, our series champ on track in uh, the third of the Team Penske Fords. 
Now, when Roger owned this track, it was especially important for his drivers to do well here. Uh, in qualifying and in the race. Well, I thought that was an interesting line that Joey Logano just ran. We've seen where so far our, our, our pole leader here, the number one of Kurt Busch running right around the bottom. Joey Logano tried to take a wider line through one and two and just carry momentum. And it's certainly going to work down here in three and four. Boy, that car really flew through that corner. It did. It really swept down in there nicely. Nice lap. Logano is fastest by more than a tenth of a second, 38-47. Well... See, he runs a wider line through the carousel, but gives him that straighter shot off on the exit. We saw where Logano's car's a little bit loose, hanging the back end down. Now, boy, uh, Logano made up <laughs> a lot more in that braking zone than Larson did. But he paid for it. He Look how far up the hill he went. That's where Larson has been really, really strong right here, getting up to speed to get through the S's. Right Larson here, he was, really goes. Where Larson was best was coming out of turn 11 to the start-finish line. Yeah. Well, remember, Logano had a little mistake. Here's coming through 9. We're going to be in 10 where he made that slight bobble on the exit, and that might be where Larson makes the difference here. Got a little wide right, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Larson right, there. right up alongside him, and there he goes. But I, boy, I tell you what, I thought Larson was driving in the corner, Steve, but Logano... There he goes, really, and here he comes. <laughs> A crossover move. Great drive off for Larson. What's it going to be? Man, nice drive. He gets off turn 11, like you said, Mike, really, really, really well. Kyle Larson to the top. That worked well for him. Look at it. Build speed down the back straightaway. In the green. Once again, not going all the way out to the wall. Trying to shorten this entry up a little bit. Get the left side right on the line. Hard to do with it bouncing like that. Looking pretty good here. Got a good run yeah, off of four. Just to make it as straight and as short as you can. That's a great lap, Austin. Does Suarez have anything for the pole? Came to the line really well. That means he went through three and four with good speed. Remember, this is a teammate of Almirola. Does he maintain it through one and two? He does. Really good one and two. Now the hard spot. Can he do through? I can't throttle and break. Only one pole for Daniel Suarez in his career. Can he make it two today? Oh, will it stick on exit? Oh, he's going to do it by a tenth. What a run by Suarez. So now, now remember, we're comparing to Kyle Busch, not Eric Jones. Let's see if Keselowski can find some time down here versus Kyle Busch. He's in the red, but trending the right way. This might be a short-lived fastest lap time for Kyle Busch. I First lap, Brad Keselowski sets the new fastest. His teammate had a fastest first lap as well, Logano. His car faded on the second lap. Those guys could be up on air pressure for those tires to come in quicker. We've also seen that speedy dry. They've pushed that groove out in one and two. Mm -hmm. as, this, as this qualifying session has gone on, they've been able to use more racetrack in one and two. See Kevin Harvick down, going into turn three with a, about a tenth of a second. Man, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, heading into the tunnel right here. He does not use the apron. I've watched him in practice. He doesn't get down there and touch the apron to help the car turn. He's going faster. He picked up time after he went through the tunnel turn. He's got two tenths of a second right now on Logano. Ah, look at that thing just wrap the yellow line. It's an impressive lap. Losing a little speed through three, but two tenths of a second faster. And they did not make a mock qualifying run in practice. They decided to stay in race trim. Under a tenth of a second. And behind him, his teammate Chase Elliott, though, with only one corner left, is tracking in the green. He's in the red. Can he get drive off here? He does. Is it enough? Does Chase Elliott steal it from his teammate? He does. 109 yeah, 28 now the mark. Brad Keselowski, the last hope to steal the pull away from Kevin Harvick. Great speed. Off turn four, down the front straightaway. Wow. Up a half a tenth here already. Maintaining down in the corner. Will he gain more down the back straightaway? Lose it. Trending the wrong way just a little bit. Does he dive to the right white the line? The straightaway, he got it back. He goes to the white line. Can he hold it down there? A little over a half a tenth of a second. Brad Keselowski coming yeah. to the line. He'll take it away from Kevin Harvick. 
whole tenth faster than he ran in practice. And Brackelowski does it. Way to go, guys. Denny Hamlin on the track. Denny Hamlin has been on fire lately. Top five in the last five races. A great one and two for Denny Hamlin. Look at this lap. And as quickly as Kyle Larson had the pull, Denny Hamlin takes it away. Could that be Toyota's first poll this year? You know, they don't have a poll all year long. Lap two, a little bit slower for Denny Hamlin. So 14.8. Right now, lap one, I believe. 14.848 was his first lap. Cole Trickle behind the wheel here. Well, actually, it's William Byron. But a Cole Trickle inspired. City Chevrolet. I was actually just at City Chevrolet this last week. Uh, it's the Rick Hendrick City Chevrolet. And so many people, I don't know if they realize that Days of Thunder, a lot of Days of Thunder has to do with Rick Hendrick and, and a lot of the stories that his drivers and uh, Rick were able to tell to the guys who made the movie. Uh, they told those stories and they were able to incorporate them into the movies. How about Harvick? He's staying in the green. He's in the middle of three and four. Looking good as he comes out of turn four. It's a great lap. Two tenths of a second better. Kevin Harvick. What a run for Harvick. He goes to the top of the chart. 48-44. Yes. That is the fastest time that's been turned this weekend. Now Boyer on the clock. And Boyer was fast in practice yesterday. Looks to be very quick again. Beat Suarez through the middle of the corner right there. Continued to build some speed down the back straightaway. Came off turn two really low. Give it up a little Good. bit right Going the wrong way. Can he get there in time? Boyer takes the pole away from Suarez. Good job, bud. T1. 21.58 for Kozlowski and into the green. Man, that's a great corner there. Yeah, that car stuck, didn't it? Three and four. Oh. And look at this lap. Kozlowski. Can he keep it up? Already smoking that tire. We've seen all the Hinder cars smoking that right front tire into that final paint, but it's not costing him any time. William Byron, a 120.932. You both got to be all in. And when I say both, I mean that brain and the foot, the gas pedal. to connect. Yeah, they got to be all in today, baby. Hey, so we're here at Dover. I'm going to go back one week, though. You got it done at the Roval, but it really started all week long. I heard your interviews. I've known you a long time. Your mindset starting Monday, leading in the role, you were excited. You were ready. Everything yeah. I heard was you were ready to move forward. Was that well, your approach to that race? Yeah, but I mean, that's approach everywhere, right? Yeah. I mean, you got to have confidence in this playoff. For me, that was shining bright because that wild card was an opportunity. And I feel like, uh, you know, when you're when you're behind, you got to look for opportunities. And for me, that was that role. Ball. I went Jimmy Johnson, so we're all in on Hendrick. Okay. All right. Not me. I got Clint Boyer. <laughs> you didn't even listen to Bowman. He said earlier that he thought it was going to be a Hendrick car. Yeah, Hendrick Rutsports won the pole for the last uh, 11 of the last 10 pieces of three-way races. But I think, uh, like I said, aside from Austin Dillon, the uh, Stuart Haas cars were quick here in qualifying last last trip. So Elliott just beat Amarola by three-tenths of a second. Yeah. I mean, that is... That's so now the mark is 49.692. Ryan Blaney is third quickest with that run. Number 
Harvick, yeah. great lap here. Not a surprise. We saw the Stuart Haas cars yesterday. Seems like they're trimmed out a little bit, meaning they've got some downforce taken off of them, trying to make On lap one, Kyle Busch fastest, 25.79. Well, right now, Joe Gibbs racing one, two, three in qualifying. Oh, wow. He's faster on his second lap, 25-69 for Kyle Busch.